Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share my first update on my experience with the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. This machine is impressive, and I think that its price to performance ratio may make it golden for a lot of consumers looking to get not just the most for their money, but a really great gaming laptop that also happens to be competent as a content creation machine. So let's take a look and a listen uh, to the speakers on the 5 Pro, as well as the brand new 16 inch, 16 by 10, uh, 1600p, uh, 165 Hertz refresh uh, rate display. little bit of tinniness there in the speakers. I don't know if that's being picked up. Keep in mind, brightness is nowhere near 100%. So I'm gonna take it up to 100 now. Now we're working at 100%, which makes things, in my opinion, on camera at least, look a little bit more blown out for obvious reasons. So I'm gonna stop it here because I think that gives you a pretty good idea. And again, you see the brightness, if I bring it back down to where we were at, which was actually right around there. Um, we're, I think roughly 50% brightness. Uh, this display comes in at a little under 500 nits, roughly. I think it's a fantastic display. So this brand new 16 inch IPS panel with G-Sync, I might add, I think is a great standard for the majority of users. But as you all may have noticed, we've got letterboxing on the top and bottom and that's because of the 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It means you're gaining vertical height, which is good for productivity work and certainly a lot of games will support it as well, but not every single one. So be aware of that. Uh, I don't think it's a problem with this machine, but it's something everyone needs to know about buying into the Legion 7 or, of course, this machine, the Legion 5 Pro. Now, the pricing on this, to my understanding, with the, of course, Ryzen 7 of 5800, as well as the RTX 3070, 16 gigs of RAM, and a half terabyte NVMe SSD, which benchmarked uh, very well completely competent. You might want to expand it though, because a half terabyte is uh, pretty, pretty tight. Uh, I believe the price at Walmart uh, is around 1500 US dollars. So at that price, this is an insane purchase to me. I mean, my G15 uh, does outperform it in cer certain ways, underperform it in others based on my testing so far. But one thing that this machine does better than anyone uh, in the entire business is it is undercutting when it comes to pricing to get a great processor, GPU, uh, fairly solid construction, a brand new 16-inch 16, uh, 16 uh, high refresh rate uh, IPS panel that I think is great. Uh, so no one else is matching this price point to my knowledge right now. Uh, now, if you can get beyond the design cues like, of course, the glowing Y on the back there, which some people will love, some people will hate, very little wobble in the display, by the way. Uh, you know, the, the build quality is not as good as the Legion 7, but does that justify the premium you'll be paying for the Legion 7? And that's a, another video that I'll cover altogether. But again, competent read and write speeds. So if you had to live with that uh, NVMe drive that at least comes pre-installed on, this is the exact build, by the way, that Walmart uh, is starting to stock, I think, this coming week, or may have already, so you want to check that out. Uh, I can't link you to uh, any affiliate uh, route, unfortunately, uh, but of course, I'm still going to give the information, and I think initially it was supposed to be priced at $13.99. If you can get it, grab it. I mean, that is the best value from anyone here in 2021, and this thing is outbenching, at least in Time Spy, easily uh, my G15. Now, remember, the G15 has a 3070 and technically a superior processor, but that 3070 is getting uh, a lot less power than the one on board here. Uh, you're talking about uh, 140 TDP versus, you know, 80 to 100 
uh, with a boost on the G15. So the 3070 here definitely shines with that extra juice, but you pay for it in weight. The physical weight of this machine, uh, again, is more than a pound heavier uh, than the G15 and predominantly polycarbonate. We do have some uh, metal here, no question about it, but I think what really sets this apart from the Legion 7 is the overall feel of the build uh, material. Uh, it's not bad, it's just not in that same class, and that's why the Legion 7 sits at the top of Lenovo's gaming uh, notebook pyramid. But very good scores here, and what I'm really impressed with is, and I'm going to run the benchmark now just so you can see it, is how quiet this machine stays regardless of being put under pressure. And when I say that, the fans spin up, but no cooling problems at all. And more impressively, it is much quieter, at least to my ear, than my G15. And that's why I'm gonna run Time Spy right now. I've also been consistently benching over 10,000 with this. Um, I've tried a few games. You can see what I have installed. The usual suspects, uh, more will get installed besides Cyberpunk. Uh, Call of Duty, World War II, modern, you know, and Rust. Uh, I'll have more on board, but right now it's looking like this machine has absolutely no problem uh, with 1600p gaming, which is the native resolution that you're getting. Obviously, taking a little bit of a while to load up uh, Time Spy, but it is uh, finally going, and you'll hear audio performance. Now, I think the audio performance is a little underwhelming. Uh, that's one area where my G15 is substantially better. That's also an area where the Legion 7 is uh, significantly better. So how much that matters to you, I'm not sure. Uh, remember, you have two NVMe slots. Uh, RAM is upgradable, uh, but the machine is performing really smoothly outside of how long that load time took. Uh, we should be operating in the turbo mode. Uh, not turbo, but the high performance mode. That's where I've left it, and we are hardwired, as you may have noticed camera just took a dip on me. Thankfully, not too much. See if I can get us back into position. Scary for a moment. Bring this a little bit more into frame. And the keyboard, you know, is fine. The trackpad, I think, is one of my chief complaints if I had to have one right now. And I say that, I'm gonna mute this because I think you get an idea of what the audio is like. It's not phenomenal. Uh, the trackpad is plastic. It is not glass like on the Legion 7. And another issue with that is that uh, beyond, I don't really have a problem with the plastic. It's more so it makes a little bit of noise uh, when you double tap um, and use different gestures. It may just be my copy, this review unit from Lenovo. Uh, so I can't say that you know, this is what you should expect, nor can I call it a, a quality control issue because uh, the, the trackpad is working fine. It's just not optimal, uh, in my opinion, for it's, it's hard to really look past. It's another one of those things that I would say with the Legion 5 Pro, it's one of the corners that were cut, kind of like getting the 300 watt power brick. That's the same one that you'll get with the Legion 7, which is overkill for both machines. A lot of people have been complaining about it. And I'm not here to say it's good to have a giant power brick, but one thing is certain, you're not gonna run out of uh, battery life as long as you stay hardwired. And I think both this machine as well as the Legion 7 are clearly aimed at being desktop uh, replacement class uh, gaming notebooks. So even though they may not weigh a cr an incredible amount, they are directly taking on Alienware as usual. Uh, the G15 again falls more into a thin and light category. So it's harder for me to really put it in the same posture, uh, but that is a comparison that I will eventually make. Uh, you know, basically, the majority of the Time Spy scores that I've run here are over 10K. Uh, I'm still at around 9,400, plus or minus, I would say three to 500 points with the G15, but that's really a matter of the G15's you know, power going to the GPU. Uh, I could flash a different BIOS and play with that, but I don't really see the value in doing that. I think the real takeaway from today's update is that even though uh, there is some, some, I would say, cost cutting, cost saving in the build of this laptop, it still is well built. And again, the pricing seems to be totally insane. Uh, I mean, when you put it in the crop of current uh, laptops that sport new 
uh, eight core processors, either Intel or AMD, and then to boot have uh, an RTX 3070. You're just, you're not going to find it at this price point without, I mean, I don't even know of a machine, but if you did, something horrible would have to be on board with it. And the fact that you hear how loud it is now, this is under load. It's pretty quiet. My G15 would sound like a jet engine compared to this. And we're pushing more pixels. Remember, 1600p uh, native res on this, which reminds me of the good old days when I uh, first started, you know, hardcore, we'll call it PC gaming. Uh, and, you know, the Dell Ultra Sharp 30, uh, was it a 31 inch, uh, 2560 by 1600 uh, IPS panel was like, you know, the piece de resistance that was, wow, that was uh, an expensive monitor and great for gaming, but more importantly, color proofing. And I loved using it. And that's also part of what I enjoy about the 16 by 10 aspect ratio is that it does remind me of what uh, work monitors, displays, high quality panels. Uh, that was the standard aspect ratio. And then of course, everything sh uh, shifted to 16 by nine to reflect the content we consume uh, rather than the work that we do. But this panel's great. Uh, to my knowledge, the same panel employed in the Legion 7. And I don't know how, again, at this price point, even if it ends up being a $1,600 uh, machine, it's still an incredible value. The G15 is 1850 right now, if you can find it. Uh, the M16, 1850, and that's with a 3060. Uh, so uh, the question I think really becomes, do you want to spend the additional money between this and the Legion 7? Do you care enough about the build quality uh, to spend the extra cash for the Legion 7? I don't believe this is going to be configurable with a 3080. So that's another clear sign that at least right now, Lenovo is targeting this as the budget op friendly option that's going to appeal to people that purely are interested in gaming and don't mind that the Legion 5 took a step backwards in terms of it got a little bit more gaudy, a little bit more uh, gamer centric in design. Uh, the previous generation looks a lot more what the Lenovo uh, Legion 7 looks like right now. And again, listen to these fans. Hopefully that's audible. I mean, it is for me, but I just, that was the first thing. The first time I benchmarked this, I was kind of in shock uh, that the fans were not going nuts and that we still ended up with fantastic benchmark results. So here we go again, a little under 10,000. You can see the best right there that's coming up is over 12,000. I'm not sure. Well, I could guess how people pulled that off, uh, but the frame rates you know, you're talking about running anything in 1440p at ultra pretty much and getting 100 frames or higher. Um, you know, Apex Legends, again, these are estimates. I could actually run the games clearly, but 110 frames. And remember, you're getting this with G-Sync and 165 hertz refresh rate. And granted, not 1440, but uh, you'll be able to pull it off with 1600p based on the experience that I have with several games, uh, including Cyberpunk. I'm just blown away. You know, I don't expect to be able to do everything native uh, and, and basically as close to ultra as possible, but that's the world we're living in in 2021. Anyone who thought that uh, gaming laptops were not going to be a leap in performance just called this completely wrong. I mean, we also the price to performance, the G15 was the standard bearer. Now you're looking at it. I just don't know how you can beat this machine uh, for the price. I still love my G15, don't get me wrong, but be realistic. At fourteen to even $1,600, this laptop is uh, pretty much an instant buy if you're in the market for a gaming laptop and want as much horsepower at as the, you know, the most affordable price possible. We do have a webcam. I love that we've got the privacy switch. Uh, and overall, I'm just really impressed. Uh, content creation on this, not going to be an issue. Uh, the why, again, you could literally ask why. This is something that, you know, the old, uh, the previous generation, Legion 5, this is a new design. And I think it is, you know, Lenovo trying to uh, create a very gamey, you know, gamer-esque uh, design sense. And I think they're doing it. And some of you may love it. I'm curious to hear uh, in the question, or rather the comment section, 
uh, because I want to know if that if this is really what people are looking for. I'm sure Lenovo wants to know. And the only way they're going to fix things, if you do find it to be hideous or beautiful, um, feedback is the way to make that clear. Now, the ports on the back, I love it. You know, every manufacturer should follow suit on this. And for the most part, when we get into this class of machine, they do. And the I.O. array is really good. Uh, so I have no complaints with that. And even though the power brick is huge, again, I don't see that as being a terrible thing either. I mean, uh, if the G15, granted it has a good weight advantage on this, if it had a larger power brick and we could pull off higher power delivery to the GPU, I wouldn't be against it. Now, I know when they first teased these machines, they were slated to come with a little over a 200 watt brick, uh, but it seems like the pandemic forced Lenovo to make uh, you know, a decision that I, I believe is in, you could call it economics, or it could be a matter of part shortages, whatever it may be. That 300 watt supply, again, is across all of these builds, uh, as well as the Legion 7. And so that, that may be something that turns people off. I personally wouldn't want it, but if I cared more about that performance, I wouldn't be upset having it. Uh, and this does charge really quickly. Battery life is looking like, you know, right now five to six hours, but I'm sure I'm going to be able to make it a little bit better. Uh, but incredibly clean design. Again, that privacy switch, another type A uh, USB port, uh, another type C port, headphone, microphone, combo jack. And this thing is just impressing me uh, from a thermal perspective. It's just, you know, again, fairly cool, fairly quiet, and everything is running really smoothly. Uh, my biggest gripe right now, by the way, the lid is aluminum. You can feel it. It's obvious. It's just a lot of other uh, material is polycarbonate. Uh, it's really a matter, again, it seems to me, you know, if the trackpad, the touchpad is going to bother you, that's something you should feel in store. Uh, I don't think it's a, a break it feature so far, but if it gets enough on my nerves, it might be a different story. Also, it is pretty offset. Don't forget that. Um, not ideal when it comes to positioning uh, for playing games. But then again, I would never use this to play games. I would turn the trackpad off and use a mouse, obviously, if I was gaming on this display. But the good news is I really like these new 16-inch, 16 by 10 uh, high refresh IPS panels. I think it's a great new standard, and it's a wonderful thing to have higher res, higher refresh displays that actually can be utilized because you have more than enough hardware under the hood something that used to be the reverse. It's like if, if you didn't go HD, full HD, no matter what you got, 4K, OLED, you just could not game. This is the generation of GPUs being able to natively max out games. And whoever thought we could do it at a budget price like this, again, somewhere between 14 and 1600. So it looks like there's a new king when it comes to uh, price to performance. However, you know, I got to test it more. I haven't spent a lot of time with it, but played a few games and run some tests and again, really impressed with what Lenovo has done here. And uh, stay tuned for a comparison to the Legion 7 as well as to the G15. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button and as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.